Okay, here we are in the cockpit. Um, we've already completed the pre-flight. Uh, shift 8 brings that up. Uh, the only thing I found during the pre-flight inspection was that our oil was a little bit low, so I added. Uh, we were done at 4 quarts. Uh, try to add usually over uh, or anything under 6. Uh, so we added some oil, so we're uh, within operating limits now. Everything should be good. Um, I have removed the control lock. Everything externally, uh, tie downs, pedo covers, etc., have been removed. So uh, at this point, we'll go ahead and get ready for the startup. Shut the door, lock the door, and uh, run through our checklist. So before starting engine checklist, the exterior pre flight is complete. Um, Tack and hops meter, we're not too concerned about that. Uh, seat belt, shoulder harnesses, uh, we're all good. Um, radios and electric equipment are off. Our flaps have been retracted. Uh, brakes, we're on our parking brake right now. And uh, our compass, 030, 030 is, uh, is correct. All right, so uh, starting engine checklist then. Parking brake is set. Fuel selector, um, the fullest tank is going to be the right tank, so we'll switch it over there. And uh, radio master is off, and our carb heat is cold. So what we'll do here for startup is we'll go mixture full rich. Throttle will open just a little bit, about a quarter of an inch or so. Go down here to the light section. Uh, we'll want to turn our rotating beacon on, and our fuel pump on, and we'll prime. Do three strokes here since it is a cold engine. Two, three, and be sure we lock it. Master switch is on. Magnetos turn to the left. Uh, mag only. And that's uh, one thing to notice here is this is a little bit different than what you might be used to with a Cessna um, or any other um, single piston. Um, Magneto or, or, or key uh, in that it does not have a start position. It has left, right, and both. Uh, the start is actually the starter button, button which is over here. Um, so let's go ahead and fire it up. We'll uh, storm window. Uh, we'll open the storm window <laughs> and uh, yell clear, clear prop. And then we'll uh, scan the area, make sure everything's clear, and we'll engage the starter. Okay, there she goes, and it's firing, we'll adjust the throttle back to a thousand RPM or so, and uh, check our oil pressure right away, and it's in the green. Uh, we are at a high altitude field here, you can see we're at uh, 5,060 feet, so we want to lean pretty aggressively to uh, make sure that we don't foul the plugs. There we are at a thousand. Uh, and now at this point we can turn the fuel pump off and we are ready to taxi. Pre-taxi checklist here, which involves uh, Radio Masters coming on. Avionics are on. And our mixture's leaned where we want it to. We'll release the parking brake. Check the brakes manually. Roll forward, we're at the gas pumps here, so let's turn to the left. Okay, the wind's uh, calm here. This is uh, my local field, Longmont, uh, Kilo Lima, Mike Oscar. The Longmont Traffic Cherokee 5 Niner, correction, 5 6 Niner, Foxtrot Lima, taxi runway 2 Niner via Alpha Longmont. And the one thing we want to check while we're doing our taxi here is to make sure that the ball in the turn coordinator swings to the outside. Uh, basically skids as we do turns here. Um, just to make sure that it's free and operating, we want to check our uh, directional gyro or magnetic compass, make sure that those are turning as we would expect. Uh, and uh, we are taxiing runway 29 and that lines up here, so we're actually about a 1-1, uh, 110 degree heading or so. So that lines up with the direction that we're headed. 
Okay, we're ready for the run up here. We're stopped. Uh, there's no wind. Uh, it's calm wind here, but ordinarily we would stop pointed into the wind. Uh, but we are going to be pointing toward the departure of the runway here. So um, the brakes are set. I'm going to be on them manually, uh, just uh, not to rely too heavily on the parking brake. I'll just manually hold the tow brakes. Uh, mixture will leave where it is and we'll throttle up to 2,000 or so RPM. And that's, uh, we're leaving it where it is just because we are kind of in a, again, a high altitude airport here. So the first thing we want to do is to lean that out. And we're just going to use sight and our ears. Hear the prop, uh, or correction, the uh, engine pitch change. Figure out where the peak is. You can also use the EGT uh, temperature probe there too. It's not usually terribly precise. Uh, unless you have a specific precise uh, precision engineered EGT probe. Okay. That's about peak. We want to go a little bit richer than peak. Just to cool things down a little bit. So that's where we are right there. Uh, we'll run through the uh, Run up checklist here, so uh, mixture is set, uh, mixture 100 rich of peak, and uh, we'll do a mag check here. The right, back to both, the left, back to both. Check the carburetor heat, you should see a drop here. And there it is. suction here while well, we're uh, suction's a little bit less than five that's usually where it is uh, during the run up and then we'll bring our throttle back to zero or back to uh, idle I should say all the way back make sure the engine doesn't die when it comes to idle okay and it works so the next thing we do turn on the yoke so you can see here control check we can use a box pattern here just make sure everything works properly. In fact, if you want to look out the window and check it, here we go. Uh, we'll uh, talk a little bit about our takeoff briefing here. Um, in this case, we're just going to be taking off straight out. Uh, we'll, we would address things like our uh, emergency procedures if there were to, uh, to be any emergency concerns, uh, re takeoff rejections, uh, etc., that sort of thing. Uh, radio nav are set. The door is locked aft there. And that's closed. And uh, transponder will switch off to uh, altitude. Pedo heat's not needed. And uh, takeoff briefing, emergency briefing we've done already, so we are ready for departure. Check our final. It's clear. Got a good view here of our uh, base downwind. That's also clear. Uh, it's just going to be normal takeoff, so no flaps. The flaps are retracted. A long mod traffic, Cherokee 569 or Foxtrot Lima departing runway 29 or will remain in the pattern of long mod. Okay, my runway textures here aren't terribly great. It's kind of a work in progress scenery here, so there are some things like those black buildings over there. Okay, we're lined up. Advance the throttle. Let's give our view over here a little bit so we can see that uh, we're getting good RPMs. And our airspeed is live. No pressures in the green. day here, high density altitude.
usually what I do is once I get about a thousand feet AGL or so, um, or you know, in a comfortable position uh, on the departure uh, leg here or in the traffic pattern, uh, or climbing out of an airport to an in route sort of situation, I'll uh, reduce throttle RPM just not as much as uh, it takes so that you can hear a difference and uh, lower the nose a little bit, try to climb at 90 or so uh, just to uh, get a little increased cooling. Pattern altitude. Turn our left uh, crosswind here. Long on traffic here. Keep five six nine box traffic. Left crosswind two nine. altitude, conditions, etc. So that's going to yield uh, about a 500 foot per minute descent. We're in the wide arc, we'll add a notch of flaps now. About 500 foot per minute descent is good. We'll turn our left uh, base here. Long on traffic, Cherokee 569 or Foxtrot, we'll left base 200, full stop, long on. Try 1500 on the uh, RPM just to see how that does. Now you notice one thing that we're not doing is uh, adding car feet, and that's not required because of the, uh, the way this engine is configured. Uh, car feet's not required unless you suspect there may be icing. Right, so we're kind of on a wide left base here. Go ahead and add our next notch of flaps. And add a little bit of throttle just to maintain that airspeed. 80 knots is good, 70 is probably pretty good. Um, glide slope, turn final, Lama traffic, Cherokee 6-9er Fox Trap, leave a final 2-9er full stop on one. Okay, now we are on glide slope and we're going to need to add power. The glide ratio or the ability for the Cherokee to glide is uh, pretty similar to that of a brick, especially once you get on the glide slope here. So. A little bit of power. We're going to go full flaps now. Looking pretty good here, glide slope wise. Again, experimental scenery, so you're getting a little bit of flicker of uh, the ground textures there. Apologies for that. A little bit fast. Bring the throttle back a little bit. Pull the throttle back. And we're down. Got a 
competing center lines here, but we'll try to uh, make one of them. Uh, aerodynamic braking. If you retract the flaps, pull all the way aft on the uh, yoke, and get maximum up elevator. That'll help you uh, slow down a lot quicker. In fact, that was uh, a little bit too quick. We need to throttle up a little bit to reach Alpha 1. Hello, my traffic, Cherokee, Niner Fox, try and leave a clear uh, runway 2 Niner. Okay, again, no, uh, no wind situation here, but um, if there were, tailwind, crosswind, uh, headwind, whatever it may be, uh, you know, of course, be sure to operate the yoke in a, a manner that's required. Uh, so we'll just pull into the ramp here, no real spot uh, in mind, but just to uh, oh, put us over by the gas pumps again, maybe. This looks like a good spot. Okay, first things first is always the radio master. And then we can pull the mixture. Turn the mags off, lights off, beacon off, master off. And uh, that does it.